Welcome to part 2 of our skate dissection video. For part 1, check out the link in the description below. So now I'm going to make a vertical incision from the heart to just above the cloaca. The silvery membrane between the muscle layer and the organs is called the peritoneum. Now I'll continue to cut all the way to the cloaca and to make a horizontal incision near the cloaca and peel the body wall back and cut out a circular window. So the first thing we see here is this large liver, this whole brown structure. It has three lobes, one, two right here, and the third one in the corner here. Like most animals, a skate's liver helps clean the blood, filter waste, and store energy. Storing energy in fatty reserves in the liver also serves another function in skates. Skates, just like sharks, don't have a swim bladder, which means it's harder for them to keep buoyant. One of the ways they compensate for this is by concentrating and storing a lot of oil in this liver right here. Oil is less dense than water, just think of how oil floats on water, so it helps the skate maintain its buoyancy. The liver also produces bile, which is used to digest lipids in the shark's diet. The bile is then stored in this pouch-like structure here. It's hard to see, but it's this white structure, which is called the gallbladder. So now we'll remove the liver to get a better look at the other organs. So you can see here how the gallbladder leads into the small intestine where it releases its bile. So you can see how my hand is really oily. And you can also see all this oil pooled in the body cavity. So this is all the oil that helps keep the skate buoyant. So you can see even more over here. So all this. So the liver is actually so oily that it floats in water. To show you this, I'm going to cut a piece of the liver. So there we go. And I'm going to put this piece in water. And you can see that it floats to the top. Now that the liver is gone, we can see this structure here. This structure is the stomach of the skate. You can see that it goes down and then it bends like a hook and then it enters the intestine here. The top, more muscular part here is called the cardiac stomach and the lower, thinner part is called the pyloric stomach. The stomach uses chemical and mechanical means to break down the food. You can see here that the esophagus connects to the stomach, so the food that the skate eats enters the stomach here. Okay, so now here is the skate's intestine. It's this whole structure here. The pyloric valve here separates the stomach from the intestine. And the intestine is where nutrients from the food get absorbed. You won't be able to see it right now, but there's a spiral inside the intestine called the spiral valve. The function of the spiral valve is to increase the surface area for digestion and absorption of food while also conserving space in the body cavity for the large liver and for the development of egg capsules. We might cut this open later to get a better look at the spiral. So the intestine leads into the rectum here, which is where the waste is stored, and the cloaca, where the waste is expelled. Now this triangular dark structure that lies against the stomach right here, you can also see it if I flip it over, is the spleen. It's not part of the digestive system, however, it is the main part of the skate's immune system. The spleen also plays a role in breaking down old blood cells. 
Now beneath the pyloric valve here is the pancreas. You can see the ventral lobe here. And maybe you can see the dorsal lobe when I flip it over. Nope, not as well. So the ventral lobe here. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes and hormones. Now down here at the base of the abdominal cavity is this small finger-like structure here, which is called the rectal gland. Because skates live in the ocean, they're constantly taking in salt water. This gland helps balance the salt level in the skate's blood by excreting high amounts of concentrated salt. Now I'm going to cut into the stomach here. So you can see there's these grooves in the walls of the stomach, and these folds are called the rugae. These increase the surface area of the stomach, and also helps the stomach expand, kind of like an accordion. So now I'm going to cut into the intestine. So here you can see the walls of the spiral, and the spiral goes like this, more slowly, like this, and you can see the walls of it here. So now that we're done with the digestive tract, I'll remove it. So now let's look at the structures of the reproductive system. As I said before, this is a female skate, and so you can see an ovary right here. So the ovary produces egg cells, which travels down the fallopian tube, which is right here, and into the uterus, which is here. This uterus is where the eggs get fertilized by sperm, and once the eggs are fertilized, the completed eggs move into the egg sac here. So you can see an egg right there. And here, the egg will develop into full embryos inside quote-unquote mermaid purses. You'll see what I mean, I'll put a picture. Okay, so now let's look at these flat, dark, triangular structures near the base of the tail. So here's one, and here's another. And these are the kidneys, and they function in filtering blood to create urine. So now we're going to look at the brain of the skate. To do this, just peel back the skin between the eyes of the skate, and that'll expose the skull. Okay, now cut through the skull very carefully and remove pieces of the skull with forceps. So first you can see the cerebral hemispheres, so here and here. These black lines are the blood vessels. And if I tilt it, you can see the olfactory nerve right here. And it brings information from the nostrils to the cerebral hemisphere. There's another one on the other side, but you can't really see it right now. And now right behind the cerebral hemispheres is this structure, which is the optic lobe. And this part of the brain processes visual information from the eyes right here. And now this last part of the brain is the cerebellum, and the cerebellum coordinates movement. Oh, one more thing. I just want you to notice something. In our sheep brain video, you can see that the cerebrum is a lot larger than the cerebellum. It's not that way in skates. The cerebellum is a lot larger than the cerebrum. I that's it of the skate dissection. Thanks for staying, lads. Here's a fun fact about skates to send you on your way. One species of skate, called the big skate, has two large black spots on its fins, which look like large eyes. These quote-unquote eyes function in confusing predators about the skate's size. Oh, and by the way, if you missed part one of our skate dissection, make sure to check it out here.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.